At the Pima County Sheriff's Department still piecing together what happened the night that Ruby Martinez died. They have not said whether speed played a role in the hit and run accident, but neighbors say that stretch of Nebraska Street near San Joaquin is known for speedy drivers. Marcelino Benito took the radar gun to that area for tonight's Not On Your Side safety alert. In the last two days, I've got to know the friends and family of Ruby Martinez. I've also spent some time with the neighbors out here, and they all tell me the same thing. Speeding is a problem down this road, so today we spent the day and night taking a look for ourselves. Just how fast is too fast down a street where a 17-year-old girl was hit and left to die? How, how fast do you, would you gauge that you've seen people go out here? I've seen people race up and down the street before. Easy 45, 50. I mean, it's like a freeway here almost. And people are just impatient. The speed limit here, 35 miles per hour. No speed bumps or stop signs anywhere down the entire stretch of road. But are people following the law? We brought out the radar gun to find out. And for the most part, people stayed under, admittedly hitting the brakes just as they saw me point the radar right at them. But then there were the speeders. 37. Anywhere from 37 to a couple 44s, the fastest we saw, 47. It's just 13 miles over, but on a road like this, neighbors say it can be deadly. There's no sidewalk for the kids to walk on. There's no, uh, there's desert on the side. There's so only so much room that the kid could get out of the way. At night, it can be even more dangerous. Pitch black down this road. The only light shining from the cars zipping by. Our gun captured 40. Once they drive on, the only thing left is the glow near Ruby's roadside memorial. It's sad. It's very sad. And that's all the proof they need to see to know just a few miles per hour down a dark road can mean the difference between life or death. I don't trust this street. You know, my kids won't be walking down this street, not even to walk to the park. You know, it's just it's too busy. Neighbors say they hope this tragedy changes people's behavior. And if it doesn't, they say it's time to look into things to slow people down, maybe stop signs or speed bumps. What they don't want to see is another child left to die on the street. We're reporting from the West Side tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, Kega 9 on your side. And as we've reported all week long, the Martinez family is working to try to raise money for Ruby's funeral costs. Several friends have started donation jars at local businesses, but sadly tonight, the family is telling us a woman in tears pretending to be Ruby's mother walked into a Circle K to snatch the money from the jar. The family is asking anyone who would like to help to only donate through the Wells Fargo Fund.